morning everyone it's Miss here and today I thought we would do another page in the Daphne's diary glue book journal that uh, we've been working on for quite a few weeks now if you've missed the um, the first videos uh, please check th those out in my playlist um, welcome back uh, to those of you who have been uh, consistently coming back uh, your support means a lot to me and welcome to uh, newcomers and um, so today's page um, I've already um, started by putting in the background um, which is going to be on this page if you are just joining we have created quite quite a few pages now I do have the signatures in loosely but once I get them all done up then I'll, I'll sew them in um, but just to have a glance at some of the pages that we've already done um, and uh, it's just such great fun uh, to be working uh, in, in a creative uh, uh, journal I did want this not to be really grungy, um, so um, the colors are bright as opposed to you know a, a more a grungy junk, junk journal. Um, right, so I've already put the background on. I'll take out these tags we made just so that'll lay flat, and we'll get rid of this for right now. So this uh, <clears throat> today's spread. Is inspired by the latest edition which I did do a quick flip through um, the the other probably a couple week well, a couple weeks ago now by the time this one airs um, and the kind of overall theme on this one was sort of summer vacation and, and holiday uh, each magazine does have travel so um, there are travel bits in e each of the magazines but this one here kind of focused a lot more on summer holiday and tips and tricks and, and, and whatnot so it inspired me uh, to do today's page um, to create a passport. So I've been working on passports for an, another project and I've had these little passport uh, stamps uh, for a while. Sorry about the glare. Um, I have not used them and I think they're self inking, but I'm happy that when the ink run, runs out, I'll just use them in a normal stamp pad. So I thought maybe we could make use of those uh, later. Uh, but for now, um, we'll just get uh, get to it. So in the magazine, there were a number of posters towards the back. There was three uh, posters um, of this style, but on the back of them was just some plain, um, you know, not uh, designer pa uh, paper, which I thought would be great for the passport pages. So what I did was I took uh, two of the pages and I glued them together so that I would have... Uh, a double-sided uh, paper so I've already done that and um, so here are the pages here um, and so like I said I've uh, glued them together and then they measure six and a half by uh, three and seven eighths so this is I think it's a little bit bigger than an A4 an a size um, because I had a little bit left but if I cut it um, here here's the cutoff here um, so I cut it at my six and a half and then I made um, two more cuts to get three pages. Um, so that's what I ended up with here. So then I, I thought, well, I've, I went to some of my old passports and passports typically have, um, you know, like a, a hidden spine. Um, so I, I'm actually a dual citizen. So I have a British and Canadian uh, passport. And they're actually sewn into the binding. And for those of you who are quite familiar with junk journals and, and bindings, you, you'll know about the, the hidden uh, spine. Uh, but to make my, to glue, to um, tie these together, I just got a strip of, of paper. Now for this uh, little book, just um, a bit of paper is fine. If you were doing a bigger journal, you'd want to make that out of cardstock. Um, but I think we'll be fine. Um, you know, maybe I should have made it a little bit thicker, but I, I think we'll, we'll be fine. There's not a lot of wear and tear on, on the book to tear it off uh, from the spine. Um, but maybe what I'll do is now I've started to doubt myself is I'll just reinforce that. So we'll just stick another page down on top of it. So, and then that will make it a little bit That'll make it a little bit sturdier. But to do a hidden spine, you just 
get a piece of paper about the same length as your spine, okay? And then where I put my string, my binding, is I just measured an inch in from each side, and then I took my awl. I do have a, a great little book binding kit. Um, and I took my awl and I just poked the holes through. So I put the template on the inside. So say here's my paper. I, I went, went in an inch. I measured, uh, it, actually I measured it on the template. So I measured in an inch on each side, made, made some marks. I then put it in the center. I poked the holes through. I then moved the spine to the back. And then I just used um, some uh, crochet uh, lace cotton um, to go through. And just a little tip to remember is with, uh, with the pamphlet stitch and with um, just a, a two hole stitch like this, the side that you go in is the side you're gonna tie and we wanted to tie it on the back side. So, um, so <clears throat> excuse me, I just came through and then tied it, okay? And that basically gave me my hidden spine. I have kind of angled this a bit um, just because uh, we're gonna cover this with a little panel on the inside so we don't need, uh, it's easier to kind of cover it if we've just got angled, angled bits there. Okay, so, so that's kind of how I did the pages. And then uh, I just used a blunt needle to, to sew it through. And my glue just went flying, of course. So bear with me one second while I get that off the floor. You know, <laughs> stuff like this always happens when you start filming. Um, okay, and so for the cover, I used a bit of the poster that was in the, in the magazine. So uh, this, this month's poster was, if I can find it here. Um, of, a, of a little mouse. Oh, it's right here on my desk, sorry. Um, was of a little mouse. which was so sweet, but I've cut the corner off up here um, so that I could use that uh, for my cover. And I just mounted that on a bit of cardstock just to make it a bit thicker. And if I was doing a grungy type journal, maybe I would do some leather effect, but I'm not, I want it to be, I want it to be cutesy. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to glue um, the pages in so, and then we will then cover the, that little bit of the spine and then you won't even know um, that um, it's stitched in from the outside. So I'm just using Elmer's glue. You could use, um, I used score tape for some of uh, the projects. So I used some score tape to put the back down there. Um, but I like to have a little bit of, of time to get that right in the, in the crease properly and with glue that allows me the time to get it set in there properly. Okay so while that's drying I thought we would work on the front cover. So I went through a lot of my stamps and I didn't have any kind of a coat of arms or, or anything like that. Um, but I thought, you know, this is just going to be a take on a passport. So it's not actually going to be, you know, an Id Id identical to a normal passport. So I kind of like the idea of doing some embossing on the front, some heat embossing. And I did make a kind of a template uh, or a, just a mock-up and I kind of liked that, and I don't know if it catches the light there, but um, it, I just really like it. So I thought that that would um, be something that we could put on the front of our passport. So I'm just going over with a, with a dust bag. That just helps um, the um, embossing powder from not sticking all over. And I'm just using some Versamark uh, ink, and I'm just gonna 
ink it up really well. And I do like to stamp off once. I've got some scrap paper on the side. And let's just hope that this works out. And I'm just going to eyeball the, the middle-ish of the page and get that down. I'm just going to leave it for a second. Okay, and then we'll sprinkle that with some embossing powder. And just hold our breath and hope that... Oh, no. <laughs> it's upside down. See, I knew there would be some issue, but that's okay because it's not set, so we can just wipe it off. It's a good thing about doing some embossing is that you do have a minute because I wanted it on this side. That's the front. That's the back. Um, okay, so let's just double check our stamp. So that is the right way up, okay? And that is the front. Disaster avoided. All right that good and inked. Okay, so let's do this again. All right, it's pouring rain here. You'll probably hear some thundering and lightning because it's been doing that since the middle of the night. Okay, awesome. So that's worked out pretty good. So we'll set this aside. When we turn on our heat tool, we don't want it to blow all over creation. Now I'll probably fast forward through the heating part of this um, because it is kind of noisy, but I just have my heat tool here. I'm gonna let it heat up uh, and then I'll do the embossing. And this is one of almost one of my favorite things with crafting is to watch this go from this kind of powdery to a really shiny, um, a really shiny outlook. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so that's done. I did heat the back a bit um, just to help it not to curl up. And it is subtle, but I do like it. So I'm happy with that. Embrace the, the journey. Okay, so on our first page, um, I will cover it. I won't do that here because it's pretty simple. I'm just going to, at, at some point, actually I wanted that on there now so I can decorate it. So. Um, we'll, we'll decorate it now. So I need two panels about the size of three and a quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter by four. So I'm just going to cut this at three and a quarter. That side's not straight, so we'll do this side. Okay, three and a quarter by four-ish. I'll probably just use a little bit of tape runner to put that down. And my tape runner is Elmer's. This one here is a dot runner that you can get just normal tape runner. And the only reason I'm doing the dot runner is I accidentally put a, a dot runner refill in my why is that too big? Doesn't matter because we'll cut the end off. Okay, so I'm just gonna make that flush up and lay that down. And then we can cut off our, our overhang. So this is going on to be the end of the last week of August. This, this won't play for a couple weeks, but um, and we had been having some atrocious weather, flooding and whatnot, but then we've had a number of gorgeous days. There has been about 26, I guess, 26 degrees Celsius with a nice little breeze. It's just been lovely. I've been able to get out and do some whipper snipping in the yard and uh, get a couple things done out there. My shed desperately needs to be sorted out, but that was a job for another day. I find when I'm working and then trying to play in my craft room, there's a lot of things that 
typically don't end up getting a priority. So yesterday I had to make the yard a bit of a priority. Okay, so we've got our inside and our outsides done. So here's the front cover. So I then went and looked at, just let me get some of this out of the way here, to look at the inside of my passport and it kind of looks something like that, like this. So I thought I would replicate that. But the first, this page is always kind of left for, um, like in my Canadian passport, it's got instruction and stuff. Um, and the same in the British one is the same. These are old ones. So if somebody wants to hack my number, they're expired. <laughs> um, so, right, so uh, we would start on this page and they typically go this way. So I went off and I found, get rid of this here. I found some things that I wanted to put on the first page. Um, and these all came from uh, the issue five. So I found this girl and I thought she reminded me of me when I was young. And I think that's a great uh, passport photo. So we'll just get that down. And this may end up being a longer video. So I do apologize in advance, but I could have done a lot more off screen, but there's a lot of people that do like the longer videos and I'm, and I'm happy to to just put it all on or you can flip through to the end. Okay, so that's um, our person and I did like it on a little mat. I tried it without a mat and it just didn't, it didn't, um, I don't know, it just looked kind of plainish. So put her down right about there. So that's our little passport. And then at the top, there's usually a set of numbers and then like a barcode. So the only barcode, I, I could draw it by hand, um, but that would again take time. So the only barcode that I could find was um, this one here. It's from a, a Marguerite, or a Marguerite. I've got Marguerite Miller on the mind. I just finished doing my weekly one of that. Um, it's from Art by Marlene. So I kind of thought we'll just stick down a barcode there and And then it, there's a, a set of num, uh, numbers and letters. So I've got this great big ginormous, I hardly ever use it. I had it for my daily journals. So I thought I would use this. This really came out of the, uh, the arc. And try to just gently get some numbers at the top. So I'm happy with that. So we just got some, some numbers. Um, we have that. And then, so for this page, I thought I would stick on just a couple little peace and love. This is from, um, uh, this is what was a song during the sixties. Uh, what's the difference by, I think it was San Francisco. Um, and that, uh, Daphne has a little blurb ab about that, but it was sort of the song of the flower power movement. Um, the, the other thing I did last night, so I've cut out all my images already and um, I can show you just some of the pages um, that, that I cut from. So this is the flower power page. So I cut a bunch of I images from there. Um, this here is, oh, just a bunch of places to travel. So I, I harvested from there. Um, I, uh, the page here I grabbed. Uh, okay, we keep cutting out. I don't know if it's due to the uh, thunder and the lightning or what, but um, we cut out. Um, I was doing this and then realized I wasn't filming. So I have completed um, the um, the photo page and on in my um, passport, it's kind of set out like this. Um, there's the passport number, the issuing country, um, the surname and given names and I had did a mix of my grandmother and me. My grandmother's name was Una Gertrude uh, Hazlitt. Her initials spelled UG, which uh, <laughs> that, that kind of suited her. Um, so I put the last name as Gertie, uh, Una Dawn, and then um, the, the date of birth and the date of issue, and then just a little strip at the bottom. Um, so now we're on to our first page. 
So in, um, I think it was issue, issue three, um, there was a, an article on this little house in Iceland on this island. And then there was like a, a mini picture of it. So I thought, I've been to Iceland many, many times. I have some dear friends there. And I thought, well, the first place that I would want to go, or one of the first uh, places, would be Iceland. So I kind of thought, well, let's do a little uh, collage. So that's kind of what the pages are going to be, be like. There's going to be a little bit of collage. But I'm going to come back uh, and do some stamping as well. And so I kind of like that there so the puffin's going to be in behind so I'll just sit, sit him down first I like to I am so in love with puffins I was uh, very blessed to be able to spend quite a bit of time observing them when I was in Iceland um, and just got some amazing video and pictures they are such a dear, dear, dear little bird. And, and just looking at a puffin makes me happy. Like, even if I'm having a bad day and I, I see a puffin, it's like, oh, a puffin. Although I think I'm a bit like a squirrel. You know, yeah. Flight of ideas sometimes. Okay, and then in each of the magazines, uh, in the, the contents page, there's, um, there's the word travel. And then I just randomly, um, because you know your passports are, are often very random. They um, are, they just don't go from front to back. They just open up and stick something somewhere. So anyways, I thought a six might go, go good there. Okay, so that's our um, Iceland page. I did want to do um, a little stamp on that one. And I think I will going to use this big stamp but maybe I'll come back um, to the stamping at the end because I might not want I put a couple stamps aside for different different pages and I'm not really sure okay so on the page next to that I was going to put um, this one here I think and this one here was a little car and that was in issue five and it just reminded me of road trip. And when I lived in the UK, um, which I miss a lot being there, um, road trips were just so um, were just so common. So especially to take a road trip to um, France um, to pick up some some wine, the wine trips. Um, you know, people go over and fill up their cars with wine and bring it back. Um, as being part of the EU, they can't do that anymore now that the um, now that they've gone out of the um, the EU. Um, so yeah, so I thought the car can be kind of driving on top of the the road to Paris there, and then there was a this little map of France. So we'll get that down, kind of in behind. And then get this cute little car. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I love this kind of illustration. It's one of my favorite. And then we'll get the car down on its way to Paris. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my God. Uh, I just want to press that down a little bit so it doesn't stick to the other page. Okay, and then our next page is this was the center, so I thought I would do, it's the center. Yeah, so on the center spread, uh, another thing that I used to do a lot, I can't these days, my arthritis right now is, is so bad, um, but is to go hiking. So I found this little banner on um, the page, the flower power page. Um, and I really loved it. It did kind of remind me, it's kind of Greekish to me, um, the motif, but I thought it would suit just as some background for my, for this collage. Okay, and that's the center. And then there was this one here, and I think this came again from maybe issue, um, it wasn't issue five, 
but I, I loved it because you've got your backpack, your camera, you know, a comfortable pair of shoes. And then I found this tag because there's lots of tags in the, in the book. And um, this is just kind of, I don't know, cut out this, it was to do with directions on that page. But I like the writing in the back and I'm not bothered uh, by it because I thought that we'll cover that up um, just with, with a flower. And then there's this thermos, which we might stick in there. Um, there was this kind of garden hotel. Um, it'd be cool if it said a hostel. Um, this is my photo because there's a camera there. And then just a random number two. So I thought maybe we'll get the number two down next because it's kind of in the background. Get that down. Just random. And then we'll get the tag down. Here. And again, we'll just kind of stick that there. And then we'll get our little flower on top of that. And you know, pa passports symbolize a lot of things. There's travel passports, there's uh, work passports, um, there's I don't know, you could do my emotional passport and use it to kind of tell of your journey, an emotional type journey. So there's all kinds of ways. And so this passport just as a symbol of my life traveling. I spent a lot of time traveling, backpacking, Going off on solo trips, cruises. I do love a good cruise. Uh, we went a lot through the Greek islands. I've, I've been on, uh, spent a lot of time around Greece. I uh, one one uh, fall, I just went to Rhodes. We had gone there on a on a cruise, and I fell in love with it. And I just went back and spent a week on my own, just kind of running around the beaches and going to Lindos and some of the um, ruins there. It's, it's a beautiful medieval town. Okay, so cut that down. And then do we want the water bottle? Yeah, why not? Because you need to have a water bottle when you're, when you're hiking especially. It's important to stay hydrated. It's important to stay hydrated all the time. Because as a nurse, I've seen a lot of people who are feeling miserable and tired, um, and it boils down to just not being hydrated. And it's even though people don't like water, it's the best thing. I love water. Every morning, I fill up two one liter bottles and I put it in the fridge um, so that it's there um, for me in the morning. So I kind of like this is my photo, maybe across there, and I do like that garden hotel as a little added, added bit to the collage. Why not? I could put that over on that side. No, nope, I like it over here. It's kind of up, maybe there. Okay, and then. Maybe put this is my photo down there. I like that. Because then we have room maybe to put a stamp at the top there. Okay, so this is my memory of, of uh, backpacking through uh, Italy and kind of Morocco. Okay. And then our next page I thought would be London because it's very dear to my heart. I lived in London for nine years and I miss it all the time. I think I feel more homesick for the UK than I ever felt for Canada when I was in the UK. When I was in the UK, I missed my, my people, but I would come home, or I'd see them one, you know, a couple times a year, usually. Um, and then I was fine. I was like, okay, see ya, I'm off again. But my mother died and I just felt that I needed to come home and spend time with people. But 
Um, okay, so here's a picture of one of my places I used to haunt, and that is um, Tr uh, Trafalgar Square. And in the background, you can see the steeple of, of St. Martin's uh, uh, Church, St. Martin's in the field. And in the church, in the crypt down in the basement, they had um, they have a, a cafeteria type thing. And you could get, at the time that I was traveling around there, you could get a really hot, nice meal for, you know, a really reasonable price. And um, they had little tables down, and it was a, a really unique uh, atmosphere as well. I think this is a sticker. Yeah. And this one just says, I love to travel. So we'll stick that down there. And then we've got London, London Calling. 208, London Calling. Okay, and then we can stick that down. And these, came, except for the sticker, again, the, these Im images all came from uh, the magazine. So there we've got L London. And then if you saw one of my previous uh, videos, we did a little pocket on Amsterdam. So I thought, well, you know, we got to go back to Amsterdam. So I found the little mini image that um, was uh, in the con uh, table of contents. So I thought, well, stick that down. And I didn't cut out the clouds com completely, but I was okay with that. And here's our our stop in Amsterdam. I was in a Amsterdam during a pride parade and we were doing a cruise on the canal and oh my goodness, the canal was chalk pack, packed full of, you know, pride and and uh, people and it was crazy and it was awesome. I had the best time. My partner at the time, David, I I don't really think he knew what to make of it all. But he was a good sport and and everybody dressed in these outlandish costumes or speedos or Okay, so I'm happy with that. And again, I'm not trying to line everything up and because, you know, when you do have your passport stamped, it's just crazy. I think they just do that to mess you all up. Okay, so that's our Amsterdam page. That's getting a little bit puffy over there, so let's, let's clip that down. So the next place I thought we would visit was Italy. So that was a feature in a couple of the, the magazines. Um, so it was this, this issue, five, and most of my images came from that issue. So I love these oranges. So I thought we would use those and get those down somehow. I managed to fit this in here. Oranges and lime, uh, lemons and limes. Just, I just love the look of them. I love limes. Okay, so we got our orange down and then I thought maybe we'll put the Italy through there. And then what, what do you do when you're, what do Italians do? They go on picnics with a bottle of wine and a, and a pizza. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh, I was going to put that up higher. So for the bottom part of the collage, there was this um, place, which I'm not going to try and say. Um, and then there was all these little sign posts for it um, on the, in, in the magazine, so I thought well, we'll do a little collage about that using those. I only used two, I think there was four. And then we can offset that one a bit. Okay, then we'll put down our picnic so we have a little something to anchor the picnic down onto the page. And that would be those little signs. Okay, and then I just have um, some random numbers. So I don't think we need to. I'm going to put this Italy down. I had a nice little flag that was in issue five of one of the visiting countries, but I was doing something else on my desk and it's just flown away and I couldn't find it. So I had to make do with this one, but th this is good. Um, and then 
I just thought I would put a couple butterflies. I'm sure butterflies love oranges as well. So we got a butterfly on the basket. And then it might be too, too much orange, I think. I could put it down there though. Put that down there. And then we could just put our random number kind of over here. Okay, and then cut that off. Okay, so then we have our, <laughs> isn't that cute? We have our Italy pages. So now we're on the last page. Oh, we're doing good for time. Um, so on the last page, I thought we would take a little trip to Dublin, to Ireland. So I had some images here. And so there's a little map. I think that might take up too much, but we can collage over it. So there's also this lake. And then I have this little suitcase and this cathedral. So if I make that go right to the top. Okay, so I'm going to put this down first. I have, a, I have a big map of Ireland. We have a little border. That's it. And then you can stick that down. And e even if we just see some of the map peeking over the top, that's fine. It adds a little interest. So we can stick that down. And then this cathedral and the and the bag and the bag. Yeah, why not? If I was traveling, then I might just look it might just look like this. I might just get some little stuff down. And just to put in my little travel diary. Okay, and then we'll get the bag down. So I have, I had a couple things. I had cork because in, in the issue, one of the issues there, there's an act, activity with corks. And so it wasn't cork as in Cork County, but so I thought, well, I could make that work, but I think that's too big. So I'm going to go with this little Dublin. So this was one of the places that Daphne was going to go. And I have this Tuesday, and I think it's random, but I'm a bit random sometimes. So I think we'll put Dublin there, and we're going to go to Dublin on Tuesday. My favorite day of the week is Thursday. I don't know why. Okay, so we have we have some Ireland down, so that's cute. And so the last page, I thought we would go to Greece, of course. So again, I thought that was kind of Greek uh, looking. And then there was this article with these three jugs. And what's more Greek than a, than a, Gre a, a, a Grecian urn? And of course, just some lemons and then I have the word Athens and then the uh, so when I've been in um, Greece I've always come back with some some little bits of pottery some little um, bowls or what have you just to like dip in bowls and stuff with these neat designs so this article wasn't about Greek pottery but it was about uh, clay this woman was did some stuff in clay so I thought, well, it kind of reminded me of Greek, Greece. So we'd stick that down sort of as, as a background interest and then get our lemons kind of overlapping that. And then get our bottom border down so the urns have something, the jugs have something to sit on. And we'll cut that off. Okay, and then we'll get these jugs done. And these, these ones here have the handle on, this, on, the, on the right hand side, so I thought we'd put them on the end. Oops, on the ends. 
And for some reason, I don't know why, but I like this one on this end. And that one on that end. And then we have the monkey in the middle. A game from my childhood. Let's play monkey in the middle. And we have our sign. And I think the sign might go good down here. Yeah, I like it there. And then I just cut out um, another, uh, just a, another butterfly. I try to, if I'm cutting some, a page out for one particular thing, try to look around and find um, other items that I want to collect. And then I'm thinking this is a number. And this is just a random number that maybe would go there. Go, go good there. Okay, and so, so that is, I think, all the gluing part down. So let's have a look at it. And we need to puff it down so it's going to fit in our pocket. We might need, I might need to put a clip on it, but that's okay. So we have Embrace the Journey. We're going to do something with that page. And then we have our photo page, our ID page. And then we have our travel, um, travel to Iceland. And then we're off to Paris. We're going to do a road trip. Uh, and then we're just going to do a little bit of backpacking. Uh, then it's off to London and off to Amsterdam after that. We're going to spend a little bit of time in Italy. There's lots to see and do. Uh, then we're off to I Ireland. And lastly, we're going to hang out in uh, Greece. So I did have one more image that I um, probably won't be able to find now. Because I think it's in the bottom of my... I took out so some of my inks to do some stamping with. Ah, uh, here. So... I had this butterfly that I thought would look good on the back. So we'll get him tacked down. Like so. Ah, uh, he blends in so nicely with that yellow. Okay, so on the front page, I thought, um, that I would just do some random stamping in different colors just to sort of emulate, I don't know if, like something like that. Um, the British pa passports are so pretty. That's my e Egypt uh, visa. And that's when we went to Russia, which you wouldn't do now, would you? I've been to Russia a number of times. So yeah, so I thought I would just do some random in different colors. So I had stamped out um, some of the colors just to see what I liked. In the passports, it's generally black, browns. Um, sometimes it's green or purple. I don't know why they choose purple, but I think it's something to do with counterfeiting. I'm not sure. Um, so this is sort of a greeny page. So I think I might want something um, maybe more blue. Or maybe the turquoise would go good. Let's see. So this might blend in the page a lot. So maybe I'll put it on that page. And this is just a little collage um, of stamps. Um, so that's kind of cute because it looks like they've entered and exited there. I just clean off my stamps with, with just a little uh, wet wipe. Then on the back, or on the next page, I thought I would stamp. Let's go with... Let's do some blue. This china blue it, uh, has been leaking on me. It's so watery. Okay, so this one here says the adventure begins. So we'll get that down. Get that cleaned off. And then I had this one here. 
This is a bigger one. I was gonna, I was thinking about maybe putting it on the back, but it's not gonna go there. So th this one just here, it says here, collect mo uh, moments, not things. A common kind of saying, oh, I'll go with this frayed burlap. I like that color. I'm just gonna stamp off, make sure it gets all. only thing with these is it takes a minute for them to dry um, so that they don't smudge with these oxides. They're not really that great for stamping. I do have other inks. I have a lot of Stampin' Up! inks. I probably should, should have gone with that, but uh, that might just take a minute. Um, but it's kind of cute. And then I'm just going to use my Ranger ink, my black, to maybe put something up in there. So I have this one here. Oh, the, the, this is my Italy stamp. So I don't want to, maybe I'll put this one here and I'll just use the Ranger. Uh, maybe we'll just put that there. Ha, ah, cool. So that's that one and Let's maybe put this one here. It just says, oh, road trip. I was going to put this on my road trip page. I can still see that's a little wet, though. I was going to put that kind of up here for road trip. Because <laughs> what, what's uh, what, what's better than some, collage, some uh, stamping on, on a collage? I'm just going to take a minute for my heat, uh, heat tool. I'll probably just fast forward uh, through, through this just to make sure it's dry. Okay. So let's clean this stuff up. Get that out of the way. Right. So then I had... So then I had a Greek uh, stamp, or Italy, and I thought... Where we spent a lot of time in Italy, we could put that up there. I do want to put that maybe in a brown, so I'm just gonna go get one of my Stampin' Up pads. I think they dry faster. And oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I just want to put it up here, and it doesn't matter if it doesn't completely um, show because a lot of passport stamps don't. So, oh, I love that. So that's Italy, Milan. I don't know where I got that in, in some, uh, in one of my stamp sets. I just went through a bunch of my stamp sets and just saw what, I, you know, tried to find uh, what I could. This one here is a, uh, is a camera. And I just want to, just want to make sure that's not going to smudge. Um, is a camera. And maybe we'll do that in, uh, I think, black. So we're just going to stamp off. <laughs> That's cute. And maybe just put that kind of there. And then I also have uh, some little Polaroids. So let's just maybe stick that over there. Too cute. So that was those ones. And then I think the last ones that I thought maybe to stamp on would be um, the London one. I just want to put, I know that's probably dry, but I just don't want to get the image on the other side. So when I was in London one time, I don't know if I lived there, but I had these um, little vintage uh, stamps they're just these wee little stamps, so I kind of thought maybe maybe we could put Big Ben on here somewhere. Maybe just down here. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So we'll stick that there. And then I did have a couple double-decker buses. This one here is, is it smaller? That's bigger than this one. Yeah, 
I think that's kind of cute. Or do we want just a little underground? Oh, I like that one. I think we'll just do that one. Kind of up there. I think that's good. Okay. So that's stamping for there. And we've got the Italy one. And then I was going to do like a, something for the Greek just to get a little stamping on that page because we've got something there. We don't really need something there. Maybe we'll go back to this uh, one of these ones that we already did. This is a road trip. We don't really want that one. Um, we could do that cluster, but I think that would be too much. So what's this one here? Yeah. The journey begins or I think this would be a good one. Yeah. And we'll do it in black. It says amazing adventure because I've had some really amazing adventures in but I need to move the stamp. Oh, I need to move the stamp down so that it can get it in here. Huh, that's upside down, but still that's okay because in a real passport, the stamps are upside down, sideways, backwards. Um, so I'm cool with that. Okay, so then the last thing I want to do is I always say the last thing and then there's always something else I, I remember, but I've got a number of these just little date stamps. So I kind of thought I'd go around and just stamp some dates, just random. I tried to change them up so that they were uh, different ones. And I don't want that to smear. And again, I'm not concerned if it's upside down, sideways. And we'll do this one on the Amsterdam one. get something on there and maybe maybe we'll put something there we'll just change this to let's say May and we'll go back in time okay maybe we'll just do this date May the 9th and we'll get that down there <laughs> all right so so let's just get these inks covered before we end up having them up to my elbow, which I've literally had the inks up to my elbow at some point. Um, so I think that's good. So now we just need to make it fit on our page. So what I did with this pocket is I made a couple expander bars. So I just took some strips of cardstock um, and I think it was three quarters of, of an inch. I folded them in half and then just put them on there with some score tape. And I use the score tape because score tape is very good. It holds very well. So I kind of thought maybe put it, I want it so it can, towards the bottom, I guess. And, and we can cut off the overhang, especially that bit right there. Otherwise, it won't fold properly on the inside. Okay. And then our little book should fit really well in there. So it is a bit puffy. Let's just have a quick little look through. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really happy uh, with... Oh, the, the other thing I wanted to do, I was going to do it before, is I want to use my corner rounder to round the corners. Now this is hard on my hands, but I'm going to use the half inch and it is the crocodile. And this is really good if you've got a stack like this. Oh, it might be a little bit. I have to do half and half because it will do multiple thick pages for sure. Okay. And then might be able to do all of this, all of these ones. Okay, because the passport corners typically are rounded. 
I think. I think they are. Yeah, they have a little um, a little bit of a roundness to them. All right, and then let's do these ones. This book's got a little bit fat now, so. Okay, and then I think I need some kind of a paper clip. So let me try these little book darts and see. They might be too flat. To hold it. Yeah, they're too skinny. Um, okay, so, so my next thought was to do... Just got to get my bits out is to do one of these. I don't even know what these are called. Um, but you slip this in the back of it and it slides down and then you put that in the mouth and then it closes it and then you can just pull it off when when you want to. So I think that's a good idea because then that will slip in there really well like that. Oh my god that's cute. And then I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, we'll get our book back. Right here. And I believe it was here. So we'll stick that back in. Stick it back in there like so. And I think it meshes well with that side. And then we'll have that in there. So that is our page for uh, today. I thought about putting extra decorations around, but with this one being kind of busy and I felt that it went well because you go away on holiday and then you send back some postcards. I am gonna, um, there's a couple more images I saw that would make great uh, postcard so I'll do that one day um, put stick that in our belly band and, um, and yeah and that that's it for today so if you like today's vi video please give me a like um, if you haven't subscribed I would love for you to uh, subscribe um, and please leave me uh, a comment I hope you do have a good a great day um, and stay well and we'll see you next time bye for now